Well, welcome everyone. We're glad you're with us. We are talking about dust storms. There was a big one uh, that blocked the Suez Canal with a, a container ship blown sideways. So we pray for all those involved in that. Um, and also we continue to pray for all those who are in any form of uh, extremists. Um, we hold them in, in our hearts. Um, thank you for joining us this morning as I bring us up live on Facebook. Please feel free to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications from when we have content posting because we post a lot of content here at St. Peter's, um, all of which is intended for your support as you pursue a life in Christ and community. So we wish you welcome home. Um, if you have any prayer concerns, intercessions, or thanksgivings, feel free to offer those in the comments. We are glad to render those up and tender those um, at the very next uh, celebration of the daily office or on Sunday mornings. And uh, we're happy to support you in prayer, both you and yours and those you seek to care for. So hold on a moment, I'll bring this up. Yeah. We will get going. There we are. And we cross post because we can. And what that means, we have two other pages, my Insta page and uh, also our convocation page. Um, so we offer and share that with everyone. Okay, here we go. Coming up live on Facebook. Only a minute late. There we are. Good deal. Okay. And uh, there's this uh, George Maddox Brown painting of Jesus washing the feet of Peter. Um, and you'll hear a reference to feet in the uh, letter to the Romans today. That's why we chose that. But it's also a little precursor of uh, Holy Week and Maundy Thursday. Um, if you are watching on Facebook, welcome, and we are glad you're here. Feel free to start a watch party if you so wish. And uh, please, if you have any intercessions, offer those up now, and we'll make sure they get offered at the end of the office when we tender our intercessions and thanksgivings to God's glory and to the benefit of those for whom we pray. Jesus said, whoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. Please join me. O come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, 
It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 119, a portion of which, 145 through 176, if you'd be so kind as to respond with the even verses, I'll offer the odd. With my whole heart I cry, answer me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry to you, save me, that I may observe your decrees. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I put my hope in your words. My eyes are awake before each watch of the night, that I may meditate on your promise. In your steadfast love, hear my voice. O Lord, in your justice, preserve my life. Those who persecute persecute me with evil evil purpose purpose draw near. near. They are far far from from your law. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Long ago, I learned learned from from your decrees that you have established established them them forever. forever. Look on my misery and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life life according according to your promise. promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is is your mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. Give me life life according to your justice. justice. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not swerve from your decrees. I look at the faithless with disgust because they do not keep your commands. Consider how I love your precepts. Preserve my life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word word is truth, and and every every one one of your your righteous righteous ordinances endures forever. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice rejoice at your your word like one one who finds finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times Times a day day I praise you you for your your righteous righteous ordinances. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope Hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I I fulfill your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees. I love them exceedingly. I keep keep your your precepts precepts and and decrees, for all all my ways are before before you. you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my my supplication supplication come come before you. you. Deliver Deliver me according according to your promise. promise. My lips will pour forth praise because you teach me your statutes. My tongue Tongue will sing sing of your your promise promise. for all All your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your precepts. I long long for your salvation, salvation, O Lord, Lord, and your your law is my delight. delight. Let me live that I may praise you and let your ordinances help me. I have gone, gone astray like, like lost sheep. sheep. Seek, Seek out your, your servant, for I, for I do not forget, forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You, therefore, shall prophesy against them all these words and say to them, The Lord will roar from on high excuse me, the Lord will roar from on high and from his holy habitation utter his voice. He will roar mightily against his fold and shout like those who tread grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. The clamor will resound to the ends of the earth for the Lord has an indictment against the nations. He is entering into judgment with all flesh and the guilty he will put to the sword, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, See, disaster is spreading from nation to nation, and a great tempest is stirring from the farthest parts of the earth. Those slain by the Lord on that day shall extend from one end of the earth to the other. They shall not be lamented or gathered or buried. They shall become dung on the surface of the ground. Wail, you shepherds, and cry out. Roll in ashes, you lords of the flock. For the days of your slaughter have come, and your dispersions, and you shall fall like a choice vessel. Flight shall fail the shepherds, and there shall be no escape for the lords of the flock. Hark, the cry of the shepherds and the wail of the lords of the flock. 
for the Lord is despoiling their pasture and the peaceful folds are devastated because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Like a lion, he has left his covert for their land has become a waste because of the cruel sword and because of his fierce anger. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning, a song of Hosea. Together, come, let us return to our God who has torn us and will heal us. God has struck us and will bind up our wounds after two days revive us. On the third day, restore us that in God's presence we may live. Let us humble ourselves. Let us strive to know the Lord whose justice dawns like morning light. It's dawning as sure as the sunrise. God's justice will come to us like a shower, like spring rains that water the earth. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one whom they have not heard, never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. Again, I ask, did Israel not understand? First, Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown my face to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long, I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this morning, a song of our true nature together. Christ revealed our frailty and our falling, our trespasses and our humiliations. Christ also revealed his blessed power, his blessed wisdom and love. He protects us as tenderly and as sweetly when we are in greatest need. He raises us in spirit and turns everything to glory and joy without ending. God is the ground and the substance, the very essence of nature. God is the true father and mother of natures. We are all bound to God by nature, and we are all bound to God by grace. And this grace is for all the world, because it is our precious mother, Christ. For this fair nature was prepared by Christ for the honor and nobility of all, and for the joy and bliss of salvation. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy, us thy salvation. salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness. Make and make thy chosen, chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care. 
and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving, thy saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor, or the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, renew in us the gifts of your mercy, increase our faith, strengthen our hope, enlighten our understanding, widen our charity, and make us ready to serve you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who did stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So clothe us in thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee for the honor of thy name. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. And please, if you have any intercessions on Facebook, make those noted in the comments and we'll offer them up in a moment. Together, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may no much, not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Pray for all those undergoing procedures and tests today. Pray for those seeking vaccine appointments and those facilitating that search. Giving thanks for vaccines coming online and being more available as well as appointments being more flexible for people seeking them. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit so it may so move every human heart and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed. We may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God. Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, to Thanks God. be God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Come on. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for being with us today. We appreciate your presence. And uh, of course, we uh, have our busy day today. We have uh, Bible study at 10, noonday devotions with a great litany at, at noon, 5 p.m. evening prayer. And of course, we're serving dinner tonight, even in the rain. 
neither sleet, neither rain nor sleet nor snow shall stay these couriers from their appointed rounds of delivering people <laughs> their dinners. Um, and then, of course, we will also um, be uh, welcoming everyone back for the close of our uh, daily office week next tomorrow. Um, and then, of course, the close of Lent, actually, with evening prayer tomorrow at five. We close out our Lenten uh, discipline of daily office and we begin our Holy Week discipline of daily office, which will then lead into our Easter discipline of Holy Week uh, or of, of, of office. It's all good. <laughs> Take care and God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye.